Hey, I'm Mr. James from Charm City Karate. This is our mat chat on integrity. This week we're going to talk about maintaining your integrity. All right, so, you know, we've talked about what integrity means pretty much all month. Um, and you got to hold true to your own code. Now, you know, there's some things that are going to be consistent about integrity throughout everybody's thing, you know. You can't lie, you can't cheat, you can't steal. Um, but there's other things that fit into everybody's own code. Now, your code can change over time, all right? There, there can be things uh, in your belief system that will change. You might change your political beliefs. You might change your religion. You could change what you think is right and wrong. You, you can even change what you think should be legal or illegal. All right? Um, and when that happens, sometimes what you believe and your established code will come into conflict. And that, that can cause a serious threat to your integrity. All right? If what you've always told people is, um, you don't believe in magic, okay? Magic is fake. There's no such thing as magic. And then, something happens one day, and you decide that wizards are real. All right, now you have a really serious conflict on your hands, because all you've ever said is, no such thing as magic, magic is fake, and now uh, you really honestly believe that wizards are real. So you have this established code to everybody you've ever known that you don't believe in magic, and you really do believe that wizards are real. So what you have to do is bring them back into alignment. So you have to change either your internal belief or your established code. Some people don't want to change their established code, and they live in a little bit of a lie for a while. That's not good. All right. Or they say, well, I'm not going to change the code because the code is the code. That's not good either because then people don't trust you anymore because the integrity is gone. The way you can maintain it is you change the code. Okay? You say, listen, I've changed my mind on my politics. This is what I think now. Used to be a Republican, now I'm a Democrat. Used to be a Democrat, now I'm a Republican. Whatever. Or, I used to think magic was junk. I believe in wizards. Now, some people are going to be like, what? You believe in wizards? Are you crazy? Okay. There's also going to be people going, I told you there was wizards. And you're going to go, yeah, yeah, okay. You told me there was wizards. Whatever. Okay. The important thing is you've brought your code of ethics back in line to your beliefs, and you may continue on with integrity. Right? Nobody is going to go their entire life with the same code of values the whole time. It's not going to happen. Okay? Think about some of the things you believed when you were a little kid that turned out to not be true when you got older. All right? uh, most people have one set of political beliefs when they are say, 16 to 20 that change drastically when they get into their 30s. Okay? So, you're going to have to change it at some point. The important thing is that you do change it and you acknowledge the change. You don't like keep secret about it. You want to maintain that integrity. Integrity is important. You don't want to be a big fat liar and a stinker. All right, so I'm Mr. James from Charm City Karate. That was our chat on integrity. I'll see you next week.